now we are ready to upload the T4s to the Revenue Canada. Before we proceed to do the T4 electronic filing, we want to make sure that we have the web access code. In the mail, Canada Revenue Agency should send you a letter with your web access code. This is a web access code and an account number that allows you to log in on Canada Revenue Agency's website and upload your T4 electronic filing. Once you have that, only then it's best to proceed with the T4 electronic filing. Payment yet from employee to employee, employee number the original, select EI rates if you have multiple EI rates or EI exempt. Employee info one, you want to put your company name, company address and the province. the location of the file that you want to upload and in this case I created a folder called T4 the file name will be a T4E file your SIN number of your proprietor if your proprietor doesn't have a SIN number or is not included then you just type in zero and a contact name transmitter info one and we're submitting returns on the behalf of our software package and in the reference ID I would suggest that you use your account number as a reference and a transmitter number an email and for all this information will be now transferred to your T4E file click process I now successfully exported my T4s and created an XML file. Which I will go to see. My T4 file. Now I'm ready to upload this file to Revenue Canada. Go to Revenue Canada IREF and you will get this page. The file and information returns electronically T4, T5s. Since I have my XML file, I want to transmit my internet file from XML. Here is additional information, and in here I want to enter into my secure web page. I will set the disclaimer. And this is where you enter your account number and your web access code that Revenue, got, Revenue Canada had mailed out to you. Once you've entered this code, you will log in, then you will upload your e-file to Revenue Canada site and click upload and log out and that will be uploading your information to Revenue Canada.